It's Western Conference time for the traveling Golden State Warriors today. We're live in Houston where the Rockets have home court advantage. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. On the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. Now Golden State's starting five. Offensive defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. And it's McGee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And watching James Harden, the, the amount of shots he is able to create for himself and his teammates, he just does so much from his position that is unrivaled. And one of the greatest offensive threats, not only today, but really of the last decade. Put on the bucket. And Harden is such a creative scorer, especially when he gets in close to the basket. Curry against Harden. Curry passes to Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Green's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And for Harden, he's been in the conversation, Greg, for MVP for several years. He's able to just carry an offense with his creativity. Garner's attention. And, and Kevin, I, I think he might have won it last year if it wasn't for the amazing season put in by Russell Westbrook. I mean, don't count Harden out, though. He's such a unique talent on offense. Maybe this will be his year to bring home that MVP award. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. One forty one left in the first. Green with a screen on Hart. And it's Green missing. His high percentage shot right at the rim, and he's wondering what happened. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Durant dishes to McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. As great a scorer as Kevin Durant is, he is an unselfish player and takes great pride in getting his teammates a good look. Now here's Harden. Anderson the screen. This one for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. There's a chance he could go for a big game if they don't beat him up on the perimeter. Green against Anderson. And Green gets it to go. Green's got five points so far. Boy, you have to respect how crafty Draymond Green is on the interior. Has the ability to get deep inside and finish with ease. Moves back up. Kicks it out to Gordon. From outside the arc. And another three for Houston. You hope that's a wake-up call for the defense, boys. Because you give them that clean a look and it's over. Curry against Harden. Curry kicks to Durant. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, you've got to like to see Kevin Durant concentrate on improving his interior game because with his size and length, he's going to be a problem. Harden the pass to Anderson. It's Harden with the drive. Second chance shot, and Thompson sends it back. So at the end of one quarter of play, still. And work ethic, a big part of Steph Curry's success, as he was not a. There's obviously ways that you can get better.
And he's certainly become not only a complete player, but the kind of true star guys that every team is looking to build around. You know, when he was drafted, Steph was viewed by most scouts as a great shoot. Not a centerpiece, but boy, were they wrong. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen. Oh, oh he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. It's Curry with the drive and the slam dunk by McGee. Well, such extraordinary court vision from Steph Curry. There are not many players in the league who have been able to pick that one out. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the game. With more floor spacing becoming so important, we now see guys launching from well beyond the arc. Doris, from what you've observed, you've seen a lot of basketball over your years. Which shooters in the league right now have the best deep range night to night in the league? Well, we've seen Steph Curry make a shot from the tunnel in the Oracle Arena, so I'd say we have to begin literally, with... Yeah, literally, we've literally seen Literally from the tunnel in his pregame routine. Steph Curry, obviously, is the guy who, as soon as he steps across that court, you've got to check him or he might let loose. Clay Thompson, his ability to rise and fire, he might be more of a fireball in a short span than any player in the league. Uh, Kyle Porter, uh, Damian Lillard, think Damian Lillard out in Portland, the extraordinary job he does scoring the basketball with great productivity from beyond the arc. Six to shoot. Here's Harden. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Different look here for the Warriors. Bell is checked in for Draymond Green. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. McCall, he's checked in for Klay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. And one thing that is quite clear with the Rockets in terms of their approach is their shot selection. They prefer easy layups or threes. Very rarely will you see them play that in-between game. Houston leading by three. Here's Harden. McCaw grabs the miss. The Warriors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Iguodala kicks to McCaw over Harden. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And that shot selection, a systematic approach by the whole Houston organization. Greg is a team they actually took less mid-range jump shots than DeMar DeRozan did individually last season. Yeah, and it wasn't even close. I mean, the approach Houston has made successful the last few seasons, that, that they are 100% committed to not taking mid-range shots if, if they can help it. One of the steals of the draft last season might have been Patrick McCaw, the former UNLV player, Doris, fit right in with what the Warriors were trying to do on the floor, and he saw a good amount of rotation in this. Well, McCaw proved he was ready to play early in his NBA career. There's no doubt about that. He's got incredible range shooting the basketball. He's also very rangy with how he defends. So much to like about this guy's game. And the Rockets making a change here. Ariza's checked in. Different look here for the Warriors. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Bell. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. Thompson, he's checked in for Patrick McCall. And Steph Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. Nice shot by Thompson. Well, Clay Thompson, simply one of the best to do it in the NBA right now when it's a catch and shoot situation. Amute is screen on Thompson. Kicks it out to Ariza. the career progression of Trevor Ariza. Uh, you know, he came into this league somewhat as, as an energy player who obviously could attack the rim. Now, he's one of those guys who's primarily a 3 and D component. For Ariza, his first few years in the NBA, over half his shots came within a few feet of the rim. Greg, now over two-thirds of his shots are from beyond the arc. And that's just how it goes for some players in the NBA. Ariza still, he has some burst to finish at the rim, but has turned himself into a deep threat, and he's always been a presence with his defense as well. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the half. Harden with it. He's got five to the inside. Passes it to Tucker. 
Back to Nene. Shot from the wing. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Mba Amute. Well, great vision by Nene, right? I mean, if you're the help defensive guy, you can't leave your man. He's that good a passer. Curry gets the bucket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Nene with the screen on Thompson. Harden kicks to Nene. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul against Golden State. Well, it gets to the line so often. Nene is always seeking contact. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Now here's Curry. Kicks it to McGee. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. It's stolen by Green. And the first half comes to a close. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break with the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here. Got Shaq. Got Kenny. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They never dug too deep a hole for themselves in the first period. The most they trailed by was five. The second quarter was a different story than the first. They played with energy. And that is just about The third quarter now well, we all have hobbies outside basketball doors. You said that one of your passions is cooking, and I know this personally. I have to ask, what's your best dish? What's your uh, uh, what's I your specialty? You know, that might be too many to name, but if I were to pick <laughs> just one, I would probably have to say my chicken tepuzzini is my children's favorite. Mm. Boy, I can throw it down in the kitchen, Kevin. Learn that from mom? Did you just pick that up on your own? How'd you, how'd you learn to be such a good cook? You know, my daughter and I, that was one thing that sort of really bonded us. We would watch a little cooking show on TV. Head to the kitchen and try to reproduce it. So Sarah and I did some work. Love that show. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Durant and Draymond Green, talented forward duo. The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. And it's McGee in at the five. Green with a screen on heart. It's Curry with the drive. And McGee gets to Durant. And Capella sends it back. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. All going up court and finished off by Anderson. And racing up the court, you, you have a number of options and a great decision there. I love how he took the initiative, right? He took charge of the opportunity and made the right decision. Curry attacking. Six on the shot clock. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating the whole game at, at a high level. It's just so great to see ball movement like this, and he is excellent at getting his teammates involved. Capella, good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Ten points for Clint Capella. And how about last season, Steve Kerr becoming the fastest coach in NBA history to reach the 200-win plateau? This guy has had nothing but success in his first run and already considered one of the elite coaches in the league. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Now how about Kevin Durant on the dribble drive? What to do with this guy? He's got so many ways he can hurt you. Capella with a screen on Thompson. Thompson against Harden. Inside. The kick out to Anderson. And the three off target. That's as good a look as he's going to get beyond the arc, but there are no sure things from that range, even for him. The putback. Outside for Durant. And is out of bounds. Last touch by Ariza. Curry, 
And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Twenty seconds left in the third. Goes up again. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. You know, you'd think it would be easy to throw a player like Curry off his shot because of the size, but somehow, some way, this guy figures it out. Al Harden, he's got five. Feeds to Anderson. A three-pointer, no good. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. Almost like he was anticipating the play call, right? You love the hustle. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors lead by four. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. We've got to dial it in now. We've got to get focused. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. Rockets trail by four. Ariza and Anderson holding down the forward spots. Harden and Gordon teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Harden out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Well, he's obviously anticipating different movement there. And instead of an easy connection, the pass sails straight into the front row. Harden against Curry. To the paint. Here's McGee. Shoots over Capella. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Warriors. Harden outside. Screen by Capella. Harden kicks to Capella. Anderson wide open. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And in a game this tight, a few plays either way can start to turn the tide. No, exactly. When it's this close, both teams are fighting hard. This is what you want to see. Curry dishes to McGee. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Capella with a screen on top. Harden the pass to Anderson. Anderson the screen. Harden kicks to Anderson. Well timed pass and it goes straight to the bucket for the winner. Well, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the court. Green dishes to Curry. Green with a screen on Hart. Curry passes to McGee. Back to Curry. Five to shoot. It's Durant on the wing. Outside Curry. From outside, off the mark. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Harden kicks to Capella. There's the feed to a reason. For three, Gordon. Stolen by McGee. Here's Green. Here is Harden. Kicks it out to Gordon. Ariza outside. Gordon dishes to Capella. Screen by Capella. Down low. And this atmosphere is bananas. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yes, yeah, smart move. Thompson outside. Curry passes to McGee. Back to Curry. Shot clock at five. They get it back. Outside, Green. And there's the foul. It goes on Ryan Anderson. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Well, Kevin Durant, one of the more efficient players that we have ever seen. This guy is a juggernaut by himself on the offense.
defensive end who can score from virtually any spot on the court. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. Kicks it out to Harden. Right between the arms. A tremendous three to tie it up. And with Harden, it's picking the poison. Not only a tenacious penetrator, but also a consistent threat from three points. Timeout called the Warriors. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, JaVale McGee. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. I mean, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And it's out of bounds. Very it was last touched by McGee. How big might this sort of mistake play out? You never know, but sometimes these are game changers. Now a timeout called by Houston.